Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. There has been a huge insurgence and excitement about 9mm handguns. The amount of ammo that's becoming available and the various models that companies are putting out has been increased a lot lately. And if you ask anybody at a gun store, they will tell you that the average person coming in is interested in 9mm. This video is not about what is better, the 40 Smith & Wesson or the 9mm. It is about the excitement and why so many people are interested in 9mm. There are some reasons why, and we're going to look at those right now. The first thing we need to consider are the amount of 9mm handguns that are available. These companies are putting out some great 9mm handguns, everything from budget to mid-range cost to high-end. It makes it advantageous to choose a good quality 9mm that fits their purposes, whether it be for carry, home defense, having a great time at the range, or all three. And you can get that in a quality 9mm. The shootability and accuracy factor play a huge role in people choosing 9mm. There are people that shoot 40 Smith & Wesson well, and typically they would shoot a 9mm even more accurate. There are some people that cannot shoot a 40 well, but yet feel more control of their shot placement and of the gun itself with a 9mm round. And we were being told time and time again that it is more important for shot placement than the actual size of the round coming at somebody in a defensive situation. Therefore, people are choosing 9mm. Also, many people are recoil sensitive. They just are. When, you, when you're trying to work with somebody, the, the first question they ask is, how is the recoil? The 40 Smith & Wesson, I don't think it's that bad, but a lot of people get intimidated by it. Here's what it looks like. Rock 27. It is a fact that the 9mm round is smaller than the 40 Smith & Wesson. Therefore, you can fit more rounds in a magazine. It has been very common for the average compact 9mm handgun to hold anywhere from 10 to 17 rounds. And even for trained law enforcement and military, it has been proven that under stressful situations... They tend to miss more than they hit. Therefore, the more rounds you have, the greater chance you have for being successful. Looking at reliability, you know, just reliability. What round, what caliber is going to be the most reliable? People believe that it's 9mm. I don't know that that's an actual fact, but that's what people believe. And I think it's because of the excitement and the amount of guns that are available that people want a 9mm because they believe that it is the most Reliable, and nobody wants to have a reliability issue in a defensive situation. I do believe that there is greater amount of longevity with the 9mm. To me, it's obvious with less energy per round shot, less wear and tear in the gun. I can testify to that with this one right here. That's a Glock 19. It was made in 1991. It is a Gen 2. It has over 10,000 rounds through it and shoots great to this day. People say, well, that's because it's a Glock. Glock reliability. Well, no, not true. I mean, other, other handguns can do just as well if you take care of them. To me, that's a plus for the 9mm. Given the increase of excitement of 9mm and all the models that have become available, what has also happened is that ammo companies are pumping out 9mm, making it more and more available, as well as other companies popping up. Like this right here is called Perfecta. Picked that up at Walmart, had a real good price on it. Over here is Tula Brass Max. 100 round pack, had a real good price on it. So it's becoming more available and different companies are popping up. Also what's happening is the defensive rounds for 9mm have increased in the grainage. They can go anywhere from 115 plus P rounds all the way to 147 grain, which is inching closer and closer to the 40 Smith & Wesson round. So there you have it friends. That is why people are choosing the 9mm over the 40 Smith & Wesson. If you like videos like this, please subscribe, share, I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.